me again. In me shop. What am I doing? I gotta clean this bench up. Because I have another project I want to get in here. And there's too much crap on it. Like vintage locking pliers that need to go somewhere. Did I, in case you haven't wondered, in case you haven't noticed, I, I do have a lot of grippy things in this garage. There's usually a few of them laying on the bench. There's enough locking pliers in this shop to make most, uh, what do you call it, people who have hot rod shops jealous. Because, you know, I only, I only make, uh, people who build cars jealous. <laughs> Not really, just tell me to shut up anytime soon. Alright. This is a no good bulb. If you want to watch my videos, I I did the most exciting video in the world. I took a light bulb part and was pretty disappointed. So but that's another whole video. This has to be put away. I'll show you my bench. This is the mess I'm cleaning up. Or I should say it's the mess I'm just moving to somewhere else. This is the uh, <clears throat> Harbor Freight Knockout Punch Kit. If you'll see another video. This is going to go somewhere. This has got to go somewhere. These light bulbs are still good. Give them extra claw. Which, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see I put this in a lot of videos. My little claw thing is pretty cool. Come on, get on there. It's usually sitting on my English wheel. Please go over here. I'm cleaning the bench. I'm not doing a super clean, but here's my knife. Ten bucks at Harbor. No, a track supply. I got this. I'll put this here for now. That goes in the drawer. Let's see. This goes in the drawer. Drawer, drawer, drawer. Probably throw that in the drawer too. What else? This can go under the bench somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Uh, nope, doesn't want to go there. Say nopesies for that one. That's a pattern I need to keep. Rags, put them in the rag pile. Sandpaper. I don't know. Yeah. Let me go like this. Let me move the height of this thing. Hold on one second. Yep, this is the conundrum of sorts. Yeah. Oh my crap. stuff on here that can go somewhere else gloves this is cardboard this I don't know what to do with this I should keep it to put the stuff in that in there That's the project. That's the project this is Nuts and bolts or something. This is the largest ice cream bowl I ever had in my life. It's some little piece of a... Oh, it's a piece of a washer, I think. But it looks like an ice cream bowl. So I just kept it for my kids to play with. I need that. Shut up right again. What the hell is all greasy here? Something about boiling. Why did I pick up those coating oil? Gonna need these paint cans for next week. Actually, I won't need them for next week because I'll be able to paint them next week. This drill can go somewhere else. The drill can go somewhere else. Don't need this right now. I got little. This handle's pretty cool. I think it came off an old fridge. So I kept it. This is Bitsy Bitsy's. This goes back in the roll lock drawer. Yes, I do have a drawer that has roll locks in it. This has got to go over there. It's a drill bit. It's a drill bit. Broken drill bit. Lots of scrap metal. Let me put these over here for now. 
This has to go in the ruler shelf. Notice, note to self when I watch this video, make sure I edit out the little long walks of ruler. Paper that's still usable. More sandpaper. If you're, in case you're wondering why I do videos like this, why do I do uh, bench cleaning videos? Like, I could just skip them all. I mean, in some sense, it's like, why the hell do people want to watch bench cleaning videos, right? Well, I have a simple theory. And this is only my theory, it's only the way I think, but I, for one, like to, I like to see what people do in their garage. Like, you know, you got all these high polished fancy like there's don't don't get me wrong when i say high polished i don't mean terrible videos i just mean got a lot of videos that are highly edited you see all this fancy kabibbi bobby going on their shops which is you know it's wonderful and all but i i honestly like to see what people actually do in their shops i like to see what goes on and who does what and where and I don't know where this came from. And it's fun. It keeps... I like... I mean... I can sit there and watch perfectly edited videos for the next 500 years, but... It's fun to see what actually goes on, what people do on their bench, what happens around their bench. I don't know. I think it's cool. I mean, obviously, I don't watch those videos, videos like that every single day. You know, I wouldn't pay money to see it. But everybody's, I, I mean, I noticed everybody <clears throat> comments like, hey, check that tool out. You know, like, hey, look at that in the background. Where'd you get that? So people notice stuff in the background. You know, I know that's, that's for sure. People are always like, yeah, look at that. Look at this. This I gotta keep. This is I gotta keep. So I try to just, I don't know, make it interesting. I also keep stupid things like this and put screws and bolts in them. So, I mean, to me, it's just something I like to do. It's, a. Uh, you know, always... There's always a little bit of wonder. Look at this, I got a 410 shell in here. Was that 410? Yeah, four, 410 shell. I'll chuck it on where it's been. This, I was surprised at this tool. This is really cool. I like it. Not so much the old drill, but the uh, the gadget attached to the old drill. That I like. Oh, and if you don't like watching the video, you can always switch. I mean, that's the good thing about YouTube. The good thing is it's not like live television. You're not stuck, you know, waiting to see what I'm doing next. Not that anybody's stuck waiting, but. You could always do whatever they can down here. You can always zoom along and what do you call it? Yeah, I 
just get you everything off the bench. What help? There's garbage in there. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I have a Wilton vice just sitting here in my way. Because, you know, I'm too lazy to move it. And then I got these things like this vacuum adapter. Like, do I keep it or I throw it out? Because one day I'll. One day I might buy that vacuum adapter that everybody wanted. Let's see, this goes in, goes in the thing, this goes in the bolt bin. This is driver bit that goes in there. Allen keys go in the Allen key drawer. This goes in the pen drawer. This I'll let them do it. There's bone things here. I'll do that. An old. Wrench. This is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Garbage. All of these are garbage. Cap screws. This is what the hell it's for. I should put that in my drawer over there. The screw drawer. You know what? I'll spend another day sorting out screws. Today I'm not. Putting them all in the bin. Ah, a quarter. I'm rich. This thing right here believe it or not, is a very handy if you want to put on cap screws and an old little buggy. I kept this because every now and then my daughter's little carts or something, we find a, an old buggy on the side of the road and needs a new cap screw. So I just kind of keep it and do something with it. I might need these bolts or something because I think they're for that thing. So those are not. Let me just put all this shit. Washers. I have a whole bin full of washers. I keep every one of them. This is goes in the drill bit pile. Spray can nipples. Uh, not nipples, but um, what do you call it there? Nozzles. That goes over there. All these parts, parts, parts. Lots of parts. That's garbage. What else is here? Even garbage here. Oh, can't throw the penny away. Where? What? The penny? It's one of those little blocky things. I had a, a spring fly out of, what was it, the um, gear gear wrench freaking thing last week. And that spring must have went buck wild and went somewhere because I haven't seen it. I don't know where it went. It just went boing and gone. This is a, what is this, a punch tool. I'll put that back too. Quarter and a penny and 26 cents richer. Woohoo! This... Random angle. That's garbage. I also have a ton. I literally have a ton of square screws. Anybody need square screws? I'll send you a bunch. I save all the little bits. I have a little shelf with little tiny little bits. I'm glad I saved them because I was like, eh, what am I doing this for? I just chucked them all. And lo and behold, one day I went rummaging through it and I actually needed it. This is copper. Put in a copper pile. And now, for your view and pleasure, I'm gonna chuck all this in the. This is for something. Something's open in here. What up, what up. What's that? Deck screw. Try the screw bolt thing over there. The rest can go in the. What else is in here? Anything? Nothing? Good. All those round bits are from my, uh, what do you call it, that knockout punch kit I got from Harbor Freight. I want to buy another one because it looks, even though it looks well made, it doesn't look like it's going to last very long. But then again, I could be wrong. Let's see now. Let's get this out of here. There we go. Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Best little toy I ever bought. They're what, down on Seven inch bench brush. I could have swore I bought another one. I know what they did with it. Is that my milling machine or lathe? <coughs> I did buy another one. I don't see where it went. So, anyway, long on the video. I'll uh, spare you the rest of the details. This corner is, some, is the uh, the parts for my um, sheet metal roll um, circle cutter that I'm going to be putting back together. So, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, try uh, look at that, the golden forehead. If you um, like the channel, like, subscribe. Apparently I got about four or five new subscribers today. I don't know. YouTube kind of like 
gives you five and takes away two and then three days later since they watch or something they give it back so maybe i'll get my one lost subscriber back who knows anyway thanks for watching toodles